Welcome back to another edition of the Get Growing Weekly Work Session with Get Oiling. This is Coach Ashley, and in this video, this is part two of two, I'm going to show you how to brand your Get Oiling site. Now, we are normally live at noon Eastern on Thursdays. Of course, this week and the week prior are holidays here in the US, so we are providing you with these recordings with the hope that they will bless you with what you need to get yourself branded, get your Get Oiling site set up, look in the way you want it to look so that you can ride into the new year. If you're watching this in December, you can ride into the new year in style with your branded Get Oiling site. Now, if you want to join us on a future live call, head over to getoiling.com forward slash weekly work session, and you can join us live get live help, have your site reviewed, have your work reviewed, and learn more about how you can grow your young living business online using Get Oiling on a future live call. We hope to see you on them. Now, here's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, using the brand guideline and logos that you created last week, you're going to brand your Get Oiling site. We're going to use your logos and a favicon. We're gonna show you how to put in custom fonts on your site and custom colors, as well as customizing buttons. Really exciting stuff. So make sure that you go ahead and grab your brand guideline and logos from last week. Uh, if you don't have those yet, definitely click the link below this video to get access to that training so you can get yourself ready to go with what you learn here. All right, so what I want you to do first is upload your logo to get oiling. So what we're gonna do here is under the My Site menu, we're gonna select Customize My Site. Now I want you to choose a logo with a URL here. Now this is a custom share image. This is what will show up when someone shares a link or you share a link on social media to your site. It is helpful to have your URL here if you have a logo that has one because that is going to help people see the name of your website and start to remember the name of your website. Branding is about repetition of information in color and in font and in message to help people remember you so that they get more interested the more they see what you're doing. Now we're going to choose an element that you have made full size from your square logos. Or in the square logo file, you should have created an element in one of your brand colors that is full size to that square that gets uploaded right here. Again, all of these really should be transparent background, but you can use non-transparent background if you must. Your site logo uh, should be a square or horizontal logo. You don't need to use a URL here uh, because this is going to show up up top on your website, very close to the URL bar where you see your actual URL. All right, so now we're going to customize our fonts. Now we're gonna go here by heading over to my site settings and then going to custom colors and fonts then we're going to use your brand guideline to reflect your heading headline and primary body fonts so ignore the accent typeface here the majority of what's showing up on your good oiling site needs to be the stuff that is your blog posts and headers on your site that people need to be able to read really clearly so use your accent typeface for accents in images and stuff like that, but use the headline font and body text font as it relates to the heading typeface and primary typeface respectively in your brand guideline. Now, if you're using a Google font, this will be really easy to figure out. Uh, and, and also really importantly here, if you don't see the font that you're using, there is a link right up here that says customize my site. It goes to the customize my site page uh, where you can actually go and add more fonts or you can reach out to the team uh, to learn how you can add more fonts to your site. All right, let's talk about your custom colors. This is going to be at my site settings and then you're gonna look for custom colors and fonts, same as your fonts. Uh, what I want you to do here is use your brand guideline to swap out colors as seen above for body text, links, etc. All right, so what this means is where you see link here, the pink one, this is what your links will show up as on the page. So if you hyperlink text and, and it says click here, if you have it this pink color, it'll say pink. Now where it says link hover, when you hover your mouse over it, it's going to turn yellow, right? So you put whatever color you want your link to turn from your brand palette here to that color. Headline and subtext are going to be headers on your site. These need to be dark fonts. 
that unless you want to try to make everything on your font like black background and even in that case you can't um, so make sure these are darker fonts uh, your secondary your accents your dark accents these are going to relate to just different ways that the site works uh, you know so if you were to highlight text on the site um, what when you're actually looking at your website that's published it'll show up in a certain color do that on get oiling and you'll see this teal brand color show up when you highlight text on our page that's just really what that's for so what I would encourage you to do is when you pull this up you will see the uh, the standard settings which is actually the same as get oilings standard brand color settings and what you'll do is use uh, colors that are along the same lines of brightness and saturation. Uh, obviously, you know, for headline and subtext, you don't want something to be like this light gray, the light pink or the light yellow that you see in the brand guideline. You'll notice that I didn't actually use all of the brand guideline colors because some of them are better suited to the background of a page than they are to the actual elements of font and links and that sort of thing that are gonna show up on your site. These really should be more of your uh, more saturated, bolder, darker colors. All right, now we're going to customize our colors on our buttons. So now we're going to go to, again, the same page, My Site Settings, Custom Colors and Fonts, and we are going to make some buttons here. This is really fun. Um, what I want you to do is click any of the buttons that you see to begin editing. Highly recommend that you go ahead and first give them the name that you want them to have. Uh, that should maybe correspond to the color that you're going to use. Then again, pick the background color. If you have a color picker on a Mac, um, this will probably pop up really easy for you on Safari. It's just a matter of an eyedropper tool coming up and then I select the color from the brand guideline. You may need to use the actual brand guideline um, hex codes that you have here. This is why it's so important for you to have these hex codes because you may actually need to use those for your colors and specifically for the colors of these buttons. So uh, what I want you to do is just kind of play around with this, have fun with it. Uh, change the text color around, like you see on the yellow button with the pink. Uh, you can, uh, you know, you can give it a different sort of a shadow effect like you see on the yellow with pink button by selecting um, or moving the color over a little darker so it looks like there is a shadow there, like it is a button that's popping up off the page. So play around with this to your liking, rename them as you need to, and you'll be able to insert these onto pages on your site. And they will, um, the first one will be the one that will automatically show up on your site where, um, where you are actually using our branding that's in place here that we're putting together. So if you have a button on a, um, on a landing page, for instance, this is how it would show up. Uh, this is how it would show up in your vaults and things like that. So that is how we, we get our buttons edited to our liking. And that's it. That is how you brand your site so that you can have everything showing up congruently and beautifully as you have set it up on your brand guidelines and with your logos. So excited that you joined us today. I hope you guys have a fabulous holiday season. Uh, being safe, celebrating wherever it is that you are. Uh, I invite you to come join us on a future live work session. We look forward to many more of these uh, with you, with you there with us live. Getoiling.com forward slash weekly work session. Get on the list and we will see you on a future live video. Take care.